So in today's episode of the Maximus Minute, I want to talk to you about cheat days. Cheat days is something that fitness influencers do. Fitness people, if you will. Uh, eat healthy for six days a week, and then one day you get to have a little bit of fun. But I think a lot of people do it wrong, to be honest with you. I think they look to cheat day to just fill their body with all kinds of garbage. And that should not be the way. So I want to talk to you about two rules that I follow on cheat day to make sure that my fitness goals stay on track and to make sure my health and wellness stays on track, frankly. So I'm currently uh, I'm currently a bit of a shred. Uh, you know, about three months ago, I was walking at about 240 to 245 pounds. I want to get to a lower weight class. Uh, I fight, I do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and I need to be walking at closer to 220. And so I've started to tighten up my diet a little bit. Uh, I've emailed people about my specific diet. I have put it on Instagram. I've, I've put it on this platform. Like I've, I've, I've been, you know, completely transparent with what I'm doing. And to take you through a day, I wake up, I have a shake. Now my shake recipe, it's a cinnamon toast crunch protein. I absolutely love a good tasting protein. Uh, so I have my protein. I have a scoop of, a, not a scoop, a, a tablespoon of MCT oil. I have some raw milk. I preferred raw milk, pasteurized milk. I have a little bit of cream, I have some salt, a little bit of cinnamon, all over ice. That's shake number one. Uh, I have that early in the morning, usually around 7 a.m. Uh, then I go work out, do jujitsu, and then after my jujitsu, I have that shake once again. Now, one thing I should also mention, I'm having a really high-end multivitamin. I'm having fish oil. I'm having reds. I'm having greens. These supplements go hand-in-hand hand with my shakes. So I usually have that second shake somewhere around 11.30, somewhere around noon. Then after that, I have my first actual real feeding of the day. And what I'm doing, I'm doing a mock form of intermittent fasting, if you will. My first real food isn't going in my belly till somewhere around two o'clock in the afternoon. And that almost every day is four to six ounces of red meat and a side salad. I eat arugula. I prefer arugula to any of the cruciferous greens. I don't eat spinach. I don't eat broccoli. I don't eat asparagus. I will only eat arugula as a green. And so I have arugula, a little bit of olive oil, sometimes some burrata cheese or some Parmesan cheese, uh, some lemon on top, a little bit of balsamic vinegar. So I have my steak and a salad. My next meal is another shake. Usually that is post-workout number two for the day, and then I will have dinner. And dinner for me is usually 12 to 16 ounces of red meat or sashimi or some type of lean chicken. So that's how I'm eating six days a week. If I find myself getting low, because that is a really low carbohydrate diet, a lot of people don't do well on that, but my body responds really, really well. There are some days I feel a little low. I will add some plain white rice, uh, you know, serving size, maybe 210 grams, but it works out to about 70 to 75 grams of carbohydrates or a potato. Um, that's how I'll get some extra carbs in. And I'll either do that in the, in, in the lunchtime meal or the nighttime meal. But that's basically how I eat every day. Anyway, one day of the week, I allow myself the freedom to step away from that, to step away from the format. Now, now why do I do that? One, mental sanity, because just eating like a robot all day, it starts to drag you down. Number two, I want the freedom to live my life. If I have the opportunity to go to a good restaurant, I have the opportunity to wine and dine with some friends. I have the opportunity to do some stuff. I want to live my life. And then number three, I really, really think it helps you make progress by giving yourself a chance to refuel, giving yourself some extra calories so that you can attack the week with that much more intensity. Now, two rules that I follow, because back to the two rules that I follow on cheat day. Number one, when I cheat, you got to cheat with style. You got to make it worth cheating. What do I mean by that? A lot of people, when it's cheat day, they just reach for the nastiest food they can find. They go in the cupboard, they grab some Oreo cookies, they grab some Doritos, they grab some soda, and they just start fucking guzzling bad food down because they can that is not the way. Cheat with the highest quality. Cheat with the best. So let's go over my last cheat day. I had some pizza. It was farmer's market pizza. It was made by hand. 
The crust was basically like flour and yeast and water. The sauce was made by hand. Like when you look at the ingredients in the sauce, it was tomatoes, olive oil, garlic, basil. Like it was clean sauce. It was really high quality farmer's market cheese, really high quality farmer's market sausage and pepperoni. Like it, the delicious pizza. You won't catch me at Little Caesars. You won't catch me at Domino's. You won't catch me at Pizza Hut. Like it's just not worth it. I'm not putting that in my body. So when I have pizza, it's the highest quality pizza. Same thing goes for burgers. I'm not going to Wendy's. I'm not going to Burger King. I'm not going to McDonald's. I am going for a gourmet burger, like something that you would find at a Gordon Ramsay restaurant. And so when I cheat, I cheat in style. Let me say that again. I cheat in style. So if you're going to cheat, eat the highest quality stuff. Ice cream. I know you love ice cream. Don't go for the ice cream with 5 million ingredients. Go for the ice cream that just has four ingredients, like haagen vanilla. I ain't paid by haagen I wish I was. But just get stuff with good ingredients. So that's rule number one on cheat day. Quality stuff. You can step away from your diet, but it has to be quality. I want you eating a James Beard Michelin star winning diet. All right? Now, number two. If I don't want it, I don't eat it. Just because it's cheat day, I don't force myself to have a cheat meal. And the, you know what? It's funny. When I go back to my regular diet, I love an arugula salad. Like if I go to a nice Italian restaurant and I can get some arugula, with some lemon, some fresh parm, and some olive oil, like I might order that anyway. So if it comes to my cheat day and that's what I want for lunch, that's what I eat for lunch. If I want the 12 to 16 ounce ribeye, and by the way, if you're eating a ribeye, you are not suffering. If I want that ribeye, I will eat that ribeye. But just because it's a cheat day, I don't force myself to eat something I wouldn't otherwise normally eat. So if you can follow those two rules on cheat day, you'll make more progress, you'll be leaner, you'll be stronger, you'll be happier, and long-term, you'll be a lot healthier. Stop filling your face with garbage just because you can. Those are your cheat day rules. I'll see you for the next Maximus Minute.